Welcome to another episode of Career Mode, and today we have the second leg of the AIK match away. They have two away goals, and we have two home goals, but that doesn't really matter. It's 2-2. Two -two. We just need to win by more goals than they do. Unless we get a 2-2 two -two draw, then maybe it'll be extra time. As this is an important game, I'm going to stick with the team that we used last time, including Zuma, and then we have Mitchell Weisser with Mere and Robertson as the back four, Donnarum and goal, Kessie Sanchez, Lance and Musonda as the midfield, Ian Atcher and Rashford up top. It is an important game today, seeing if we can get into the Europe, European League, Euro League, whatever they want to call it on here, but it is Europa League, the Europa League group stage, because that will give us a lot more prize money and it will give us a European trophy to try and win and hopefully we can get into the Champions League with it. I'm not sure with FIFA on the career mode if you are winning the Euro League, whether you do qualify for the Champions League, which you should, but it is FIFA. They have some funny things about them and they are already breaking through our defence, but they aren't good enough to do that. An area of the pitch that we do need to look at bringing somebody in is left back because I forgot that Mankio was only on loan last season and I was looking at my squad just now and or before this game and I realised that we literally have Andrew Robertson and that is it. Oh, it's bounced off his heel. Ian is there. Right foot finesse and the goalkeeper's pulled out a fantastic stop. Let's whip it in with the... Can we get ahead on it? And it's just bounced up. I wish he'd left that though because I was trying to get Kessie on the end of it. Vice has stolen it. Can I use his pace? Oh, they've got a covering defender straight away, but he's stolen it back again. He's going to use that speed of his. Plays in Rashford. He's going to play it down to Iheanacho. He's going to lay it off for Sanchez, who's... Iheanacho's just run into the ball! What was that, Iheanacho? That's why I want to sell you. You just do stupid stuff. That was an easy pass. And then just stand still. Don't have to run into the ball and kick it away. Rashford's there, Ian Acho's going through, and he's on the ball. Can he cut back inside? He has. Can he finesse around the keeper? And my midfielder's in the way again. My players don't want to even let us have a shot. The keeper's not made one save yet because uh, my players keep getting in the way. All right, half time in this game. It's literally three against three shots on target and shots for, uh, for us. And it's because our players just keep getting in the way. Every time I'm trying to shoot... It just hits one of our players. It, their goalkeeper's not made this, had a save to make yet. Iheanacho's there. Sanchez is running through. But Iheanacho decides to do whatever the hell that is on the ball before he passes it. Like, I swear this game has a malfunction in it where every time I get near their box, my striker just decides to not have a good touch. Because there, that was an easy touch and pass through to Sanchez. And whatever the hell happened, he just like freaked out instead of passing it. Iheanacho's picked it up, plays it through to Rashford. He's taking it round. Can he get a shot off? He can, but it's an easy shot. And that's Iheanacho, not Rashford. It was the other way around. Lance is on the ball. He's got some space to run into, so I'm just going to keep going with him. And he's... their defender is tired. Can I get the ball in? I can. Nobody's on the end of it, though. Why is Iheanacho not in the box? He's supposed to be on make forward runs, and he's not running forwards. Marcus Rashford's going to take this free kick because he has probably the best stats on our team for free kicks. Let's see what we can get over the wall. And, oh, keeper saved it. Lance, or Kessie's won it back. And nobody's making a forward run. Rashford has in the end, but the defender's there. And he wins it back off of him. But I can't get the shot away, even though I was hammering the shot button or shoot button B. I don't know why I keep calling it the shoot button. It's B. Rashford has it, gives it to Iheanacho, who turns the defender, shoots, and it's miles over again. Renato Sanchez has it again. He's going to use his pace to take the ball forwards. Rashford's in there, but he runs behind the defender instead of in front of him, so he can't run down the line. At the end of that game, we did, in fact, go out of the Euro, Euro League because we only drew, nil-nil. Even though I had so much better than they did, and I don't know how we can't get this stuff, but apparently Arsenal... Going on this screen, Arsenal want 2.2 million for Martinez. Why would you want that much for such an awful goalkeeper that you actually want to sell? Just let me have him. <laughs> We've had an offer from Dortmund for Ian Atro, 42 million. And 
I really, really do not like him on this game. And so I think I am going to sell him. And we can use that 40 million to bring in maybe two more strikers. Because we do need somebody else on the bench than Nasoro. PSG have accepted our offer of 12 million for Gonzalo Guedes. Or Guedes. And I'm going to make him an important first team player and give him what he wants. Marlos has accepted our contract offer. And I need to have him on our team because he is better than Lance and we can use him down the wing. Martinez is just a backup goalkeeper so we'll just give him what he wants but we'll make sure that he knows he is squad rotation. Chelsea want 25 million for Baba Raman so I'm going to give them 14 and a half and see if they budge on that because we do need another left back. This is the team I'm going to go for, for against Man United. I've got a 4-2-3-1 uh, narrow. So we've got Marlos, Iheanacho, Musonda and Rashford as our front four. And then our back sort of six is Sanchez, Kessie, Mary Zuma, Robertson, Weiss and Donnarumma. <laughs> I know we've only used the 4-4-2 a couple of times in this season so far, but it's something that I feel like we need to try. It's just a little bit of a different formation because we never seem to have enough going forwards to actually cause another team some harm. So if we can add in an extra player or two going forwards, it might help our situation. Okay, what are you doing there, Robertson? Why are you jumping under the ball? Mares is playing for Man United now. And that's going to be even worse for us because they have Mata and everybody too. And they have a billion different strikers as well. Like Lukaku, I think they've got Griezmann. And I think they have Dybala as well. Iheanacho has been played through by Rashford. Iheanacho is still going. Can he finesse it round the goalkeeper? That's got to be a foul. He didn't get the ball there at all. Referee. Zuma's played in Musonda down the left-hand side. And Musonda gets bumped out of the way. We do need a dip better left midfielder or left winger. I'm hoping we can get somebody similar like we've just had with Marlos, but for the left-hand side. I am looking at players. It's just going to be difficult to try and sign anybody. With the money from Ian Acho, we should be able to sign somebody better for that hand side and get an attacking midfielder for this formation because it might be a nicer formation to use. Sanchez there. Nope, it's Kessie. And the shot is blocked. Oh, and he's played through Pogba, and he's just missed. That's Lukaku, actually, not Pogba. See, they have Lukaku on the pitch as well. As Mares, they've got Martial on the pitch, Mata. They've got everybody, and they're still missing easy chances, as we are. Musonda's picked it up from Rashford. He's going to cut inside, plays in Rashford, who's going to finesse it around the keeper, but it's saved by Romero. Musonda's been played down the line. Valencia keeps up with him. Musonda's going to try a little trick inside, but Valencia is so quick at changing direction, apparently. Yet, when I've got Weisser against Mata, and Mata is like 50 pace, and Weisser's there trying to catch him out. But it's played through to Rashford, who plays through Iheanacho, who's going to try and score past Romero. And it doesn't matter about all that stuff I was saying. We get the first goal in this game. 40th minute. And we are finally ahead in a game, an important game. Seems like this formation does lend itself to having better players coming further forwards. And yeah, Ian Atro just scored, but I think we do miss something having Correa in there. And I would sort of regret in selling him, but we wouldn't have got Donnarumma, Sanchez and all these other players that we've signed so far this summer. Our squad would be a lot worse just to keep one player. Rashford's still picking it up. Musonda's making a run forward. Plays to Ian Acho. Plays back to Musonda who's going to give it out to Robert Robertson. I was going to say Robertson. Plays it in. Ian Acho. Right, let's take a better corner than we did last time. Marlos is going to swing it in with his left foot. Put some power on it. Can we get anybody's head on it? No, it goes straight to them. Mere is the wrong person we can have there, but Mere hits the post from miles out. Musonda's there, makes a poor touch, but it is half time. That Mere shot that hit the post just in that last second. Oh, if that had gone in. I'm guessing it was deflected because it says it was on target on here. Kessie is looking a bit tired because he did play in midweek, so I'm going to swap him out. And Musonda's looking tired, so we'll put Gray on. And this is the worst part about playing Man United on here. They just brought on Pogba. He wasn't even on the pitch. That's how good their squad is. They could just bring Pogba on onto the pitch and almost score from one of those crosses. But luckily, we've sort of figured out how to defend against them a little bit. 
Sanchez is there, plays it down to Ian Acho. All my players are getting in each other's way at the moment. Vice has picked it up. Can he get the ball in? It's a very powerful cross, and it is a corner. Rashford's picked the ball up. He's going to cut inside. Give it out to Kessie. Oh, no, Donser's on now. Plays it out to Marlos, who's going to try and work some space. Cuts inside. Gives it to Vice, but it blocked off the pass. Lukaku has the ball down the right-hand side. Gives it to Martial. This is the depth for their squad, but Marlos wins it off of him. Nice job from Marlos. Ian Acho plays it down to Gray. Gray's going to launch over the top to Rashford because he was making a run and then he stopped. That's the problem we have with our strikers. They start a run and they're nowhere near offside and they stop running. The ball might come. That's got to be a foul from Martial. Oh, you lucky poos. Martial there gets the rebound off Donnarumma. I tried to get a tackle in, but... They got that short throw, worked it well, and they've scored a goal. Good. Oh, come on, that's not a free kick. It's a great tackle. Got the ball, didn't get the player. Ianacho plays in Gray's fresh on. He should be able to burst past Herrera, but somehow Herrera has 99 pace, and Herrera's there. Sanchez is there, shoots, and it's gone in from Sanchez. Sanchez has scored, and it is right near the end of the game. Ten minutes left. 2-1. I think we can just go counter-attacking and team pressing. Counter-attacking, there it is. I always forget how to set it, because I just set it automatically anyway. Keeper, come for it. Take your time. I know it's one of those bad things you're not supposed to do in FIFA, but I'm taking my time. Let's take a long kick. Away from the goal. Oh, it's a back heel from Lukaku. Good stop from Zuma. Good stop again from Donnarumma. Can he catch the rebound? But it's gone out for corner. So he's right in the last few minutes here. And we need a good claim from the keeper. And there's nobody running forwards. Let's give it a little roll there. And let's try and hit them on a counter. Sanchez is through. They have got back most of them. But Rashford's there. Can he cut back in? He's given it out there. Marlos is there. Cuts inside, and it's a great stop from Darmian. He's been fantastic for Man United today, but so has Marlos, actually, in his first game for us. Martial has the ball. He's trying to work his way inside. Lukaku's got it. Plays it over to Valencia. Valencia shoots, and they almost get an identical goal to their first one. And that is full time, and I can breathe. The game itself, I guess they had the better chances, but most of their shots came in that last couple of minutes. And we had five, scored two of them from five on target. 100% shot accuracy. We deserve something from the game. And we did, fortunately, get a win. Whilst I'm training up our youth players, I will try and look for some extra players we can maybe get in in the transfer window. And also see if we can bolster some of our positions that we definitely need and we've not got long left so i'm going to end the episode here and start the next one with the transfer window special so if you enjoyed the episode please give it a like if you really loved it please consider to subscribe thanks for watching and bye